Hey guys, Guy for Slime 5 here, showing you how to upgrade to an SSD as well as transfer your bootcamp partition if you have one. Now, there are many reasons why you want to upgrade. The main reason is, of course, speed. On my left here is my 54 RPM hard drive versus my SSD on the right. I'm using Blackmagic to compare the disk read and write speeds, and you can see it's very significant. Other reasons, of course, would be it's safer, it has no moving parts, so if you were to accidentally drop your laptop, it should be okay. And it is also slightly lighter and offers improved battery life. I was able to squeeze out about one hour out of my MacBook Pro after upgrading. So in this video, I'm going to be using my MacBook Pro as an example. Now the materials you're going to need include, of course, your SSD, an mSATA adapter with cable, which could include either a Thunderbolt cable, a USB 3.0 or 2.0 cable, and the appropriate screwdrivers. On a Mac, you are going to need a 00 Phillips screwdriver as well as a T6 Torx screwdriver. On the software side, you will need a drive cloning software. For Macs, it's going to be SuperDuper or Carbon Copy Cloner, both which are free. And if you have a bootcamp partition that you want to also transfer, you're going to need WinClone, which does cost some money. The first thing you want to do, of course, is back up all your data. Here I'm plugging in my Seagate backup drive. I'm just going ahead and back up everything that's on my Mac partition right now. And to do so, I'm using SuperDuper. You, of course, can also use Carbon Copy Cloner, but that one will require you to upgrade after a certain period of time. And of course, depending on how much information and items you have on your drive currently, it may take a while. Afterwards, just go ahead and unplug your backup drive. Now I have my SSD at hand. It is a Samsung 850 EVO, which I did a quick unboxing if you want to see that. Anyways, I do not have a separate mSATA connector, so I'm using this adapter from my Seagate backup drive, carefully removing it, and as you can see, it matches up with the mSATA port on the SSD very nicely. So I just use that to plug into my computer as so. Now let's repartition our SSD. Open up Disk Utility on the Mac and go ahead over to Partition. And for me, since I do have a bootcamp partition, I'm going to partition my new SSD into two partitions. One is going to be for Mac, and of course the second one will be for bootcamp or Windows. Since my SSD is one terabyte in size and I tend to use my Mac's partition more often, I'm going to partition it as 800 gigs and set my bootcamp partition as 200 gigs. Once you're done naming it and sizing it as you please, just press OK. It will start the partitioning process. And once it's done, you should see two drives on your desktop, one for Mac and one for your bootcamp. Now let's go ahead and reformat the bootcamp partition. Select it from the side panel and change it to ms.fat. Now we're ready to transfer our Mac data over to the SSD partition allotted for the Mac. I'm going to go ahead and open up SuperDuper once again and select on my left side, you should already select the Mac hard drive and want it to transfer over to my Mac partition on my SSD, which I'll select on the right. And then make sure that all files are selected, press OK. Enter your password, and then observe the warning which just says that it will erase everything on the, the new hard drive, which of course is already empty so it wouldn't really matter, so go ahead and press copy. Now depending on how much information you have on your current hard drive, it may take from a couple minutes to several hours. For me, it will definitely take several hours since I have over 400 gigs to copy. So I'll be right back when it's finished cloning. Now SuperDuper has just finished cloning my information to my SSD, so now I'll go ahead and move on to cloning my bootcamp partition. If you do not have a bootcamp partition, of course you can skip this part, but if you do, you will have to download WinClone. Go ahead and visit the website, the link will be in the description. The one I'm going to use is the standard version. It has basically everything I'll need to do this transfer. And since I already bought the software, I have the item right here. I'll go ahead and install it right now.
Make sure you install the software both on your current hard drive as well as the one you'll be upgrading to, which means your SSD. That way you'll be able to continue transferring your bootcamp partition as you please in the future. So now I'm just extracting the files and I'll go ahead and open the program now. Now the first time you open up WinClone, you have to enter the license key. So just go up to Preferences. And then press Select and locate the license key. It should be near where you downloaded the software in the first place. Now that the product is activated, let's go ahead and start the cloning process. The first thing you want to do is either shrink the bootcamp partition or save it to a location that you can access later. Right now I'm shrinking it for the purpose of showing you how to. Now why would you shrink it? Well, if you are trying to upgrade to a SSD that's smaller than your current hard drive, then you want to shrink the file so you can do so. Now that it's done shrinking the file, let's go ahead and save the image. Make sure you choose a location that has sufficient amount of space to hold every single gigabyte of your bootcamp partition. I did make a mistake before of putting it on my current hard drive, which did not have enough space. So after waiting about three hours, it just suddenly stopped and told me that you have no, not enough space and I had to start over the process again. So definitely don't make that mistake and make sure you save it to a location that has sufficient amount of space. Okay, so now it's done copying. All I have to do is re-expand the original partition here. So go back to normal. Okay, so now I'm going to copy over the disk image to my SSD, as you can see here. If it's not in the sources panel, just add it in just like so. Once you have it selected, click on the destination you want it to restore to. Press OK, insert your password once again, and it'll begin the transfer. All right, now it's finished cloning, and as you can see, the SSD bootcamp partition is now mounted in the sources panel. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything is in order. Let's go ahead and take a look at the storage. As you can see, on my SSD, there is, of course, the allotted partitions for each, and this is my current hard drive. So it looks like it's all good so far, but just to make sure, let's go ahead and restart and check it out for ourselves. When you hear that startup noise, immediately press the Option key. This will allow you to select which drive you want to boot up from. First, let's go ahead and try out our new Mac partition on our SSD. And once you've checked out everything on the Mac partition, go ahead and reboot once again and check out the bootcamp partition on your SSD. Make sure everything is functioning properly as well. Now, when I booted up from my bootcamp partition, I did notice that I had to re-enter several product keys, including the Windows software product key as well as Microsoft Office. So that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure you have your product keys available and at hand. If everything is in order, now is the time for the physical removal of the old hard drive with the installation of the new SSD. Before doing this, make sure your system is turned completely off. Make sure the white light is completely dimmed before attempting this. So I'm flipping over my MacBook Pro on top of a soft neoprene case to prevent it from getting scratched. Make sure you have your tools at hand, including your SSD ready to go and your toolkit. I have a Boxer Precision Screwdriver Kit here, which I'm going to use. It has magnetic tips, so it will help you not lose screws. And I got this off Amazon for a little bit under $10. I'll have the link in the description so you guys can check it out as well. The first screwdriver we're going to need is the Double Zero Phillips screwdriver to remove all the 10 screws on the MacBook Pro. Now there are three longer screws, so make note of where they go. But honestly, it's hard to mess up there since obviously if it won't fit, then it doesn't go there. I'll go ahead and speed up this part since you guys obviously don't need to see this in detail. 
As I am removing it, I am carefully placing it in my hard drive case, as you can see here, where I can clearly see it and not lose it. Make sure you have all 10 screws to put back when you're finished with this operation. With all the screws removed, gently remove the bottom by lifting up from the top and then slowly moving your fingers around to the bottom and lifting it away. Reveal now is the innards of your computer. Locate your hard drive, which is right here. And then you can see the comparison of size right there. Take the same Phillips screwdriver and unscrew two screws located just above the hard drive, which are holding the hard drive down to the base of the computer. Then gently remove the little rod up from the base. Now carefully remove the hard drive, but don't pull it up too tightly because there's still a ribbon cable connected. If you break this ribbon cable, you're pretty much screwed. So carefully wiggle the steel SATA attachment from the hard drive as so, and remove it from the computer. Now you're going to take your T6 Torx screwdriver and unscrew the four screws located on the current hard drive and replace them onto your SSD. Now you want to take the old hard drive's little sticker here and place that sticker tab onto your SSD in case future removal is necessary. Now reattach the ribbon cable to the SSD gently and re-screw the bar that originally held down the hard drive. Make sure everything is secured in place and now take the back cover and it's time to re-screw it back in. Rescrew in all 10 screws in their proper locations and you should be good to go. Reboot up the computer and enjoy your new speedy computer. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos like this.